What is up guys, it is CFO Mods Gaming, and today we are going to strip away some of these auxiliary products that we will be reviewing later. If any of this does look interesting to you, please check in the video description. I'll have links to these videos as they come out. But for today, we are going to be diving in more to this Mayono Boom Mic. Similar to this one that I have set up here that you guys are hearing on hearing me on now, and I am actually going to do a live comparison as well so that you guys can hear this as it's compared to this with the same gain and filters applied so that you can really hear the difference. Something with that, I mentioned the gain. This does have an on mic gain uh, dial here so that we can switch that up as we're recording as opposed to this. Um, I say recording, really, uh, this is going to come most in handy when I'm doing things like playing games that have in-game mic, but it's not able to be controlled, doesn't have any kind of volume slider or anything. Uh, when I'm zooming, for instance, there's uh, a slider to adjust the volume. You can also turn on microphone amplif uh, amplification. However, in a game like Call of Duty, there is no option for that. Uh, you can change the system settings to turn the mic all the way to 100, but beyond that, there is no option to introduce gain unless you install third-party software like Peace, like I've showed you guys before. Um, but as far as this, it should just be plug and play. You can turn the dial to whatever you need so that people can hear you well, whether it's Discord or in-game or uh, even recording, like I mentioned. However, with recording, I have gotten around that before using a mic like this by simply turning it up after the fact in software with amplification. So I'm going to get all the rest of this stuff set aside that we'll be reviewing at other times. Lots of wireless earbuds, other Bluetooth speakers, some LED lights, all of that good stuff. Check out the link below, or links below, I should say, uh, for that. But let's dive into this USB boom arm set. So I am going to switch you guys over here so that you guys can see a better look at that. Um, but hopefully still hear me all right on this mic. So we'll go ahead and dive in. Got an instruction book. Pop filter, which is really nice. I like these smaller style. You can see on the front package here how it just um, goes right in front of the mic and hooks onto the actual stand so that you don't have bring you guys back over here. This whole thing with the arm coming out. It's nice. It's fine. Uh, it's kind of standard though. This, I think, is really great, especially for the desk setup so that you don't have this whole thing in your face. But personal preference, uh, you can pick up one like is on my mic currently on Amazon. If you get this set and you don't want this, you can pick one up like that. Uh, I think they're like $7, $9, something like that. But anyway, we've got the uh, shock mount here, all packaged up very well. We have a desk mount similar to the one that I have already. Of course, the boom arm with a mount for the actual mic on it there, or for the, for the, uh, for the mount, I should say. And then the microphone itself is in this little wrap. Serial number, USB type B, gain, has a nice click at the end. That's something that, uh, or I should say in the middle actually, it's right there in uh, straight north. Nice click at plus and minus. That might not matter to a lot of you, but for me, I like to know where I'm at um, whenever I'm using a dial like that. Got our USB type A to USB type B cable there, and that, that's it. So we will, discard this packaging here for it to be recycled as far as it can be. That's styrofoam I think we'll have for this, uh, I guess it's styrofoam. Anyway, this stuff we'll have to just throw away, but we will recycle the box. We'll get this all set up here and I'll be right back with you.
So I will point this out. This is kind of uh, unique. Let me bring you guys back over here real quick. This mic is actually threaded on the mic and then on the boom arm here it actually has female threads there so whereas in the past they I've just had ones that kind of just pop in and slide down and holds themselves this actually screws in I don't know if that's particularly a positive or a negative thing um, it's just something that I noticed that is uh, unique or at least unique to me that I haven't seen before in condenser mics like this so we'll get that all the way screwed in Hi. <laughs> feel like I'm no longer spinning. Um, so maybe maybe it stops being threaded? I, I'll have to take a look at this and I guess I'll actually have to use the manual. That is something I have to do in some of these reviews. So we'll take a look here. English, seven pages of instructions, parts list, camera, or camera, um, Stand mount goes on and screws in. Did that. Mic goes on and screws in. Okay, so it's that's pretty much it. Okay, and then the pop filter just clips on, it looks like. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks like this is just going to just kind of go on. Let's see. Oh yeah, just a little bit of pressure, just a pressure grip kind of a thing. So let's uh, make sure I'm doing this right. Alright guys, so let me show this to you. I'll flip this upside down and bring this over to you here so that you can see. Um, right here there is a collar right sorry this is my first time using this all right right here is this collar here and this actually is the what you're threading into it is attached to the mount but it is not um secured to the mount so to speak it can spin freely from the mount uh, and from the microphone so what you do is you actually thread that on to the microphone as well um, you know, or, or hold it and, and thread the microphone on however you prefer. But what this does allow you to do, of course, is you can set up your microphone like this, facing, you know, the front, so to speak, and have it be at the front of the boom arm. Or you've probably seen before, you can flip it upside down like this, or upside down is, you know, relative, I suppose. But And then what this allows you to do is there's no front to the to the mic, or to, I should say to the to the um, mount here. And so we can loosen that a little bit, spin this around. You can see that's the front of the mic now that direction. Tighten that back up, swing our pop filter around or pop it off and reapply it on this side. That's kind of interesting. You actually can't apply it here directly, so you would have to do this and then kind of spin this whole thing. But uh, at any rate, it allows this to... Let's tighten all this up now so it stops moving on us. And... This is a similar system here where it's threaded into this uh, onto this rod, uh, and so you can have this you can change, I'll have to unscrew it a bit here, but or a lot of bit, possibly. Yeah, so on this piece here, that threads into both this, this um, bronze piece here, uh, colored piece here, threads into both this stand and to the actual um, mic mount. And so you can spin this relative to the mic mount so that your mic ends up tight at a different position. I hope that makes sense. Similar to what you can do here with this collar, where you can loosen this collar, move the mic. I want it directly opposite of the mount, so right like that, what I would call forwards, but that's because I'm using it what I would call, if I loosen this, what I would call right side up, or like that. 
So we'll get this put back how I'm going to use it, but you can, um, you know, turn it 90 degrees if you wanted to have a setup like this, where you have the mic coming out in front of you. If I were to actually, let me bring you guys over to the other camera. If I were to actually have my camera set up on, on this side of the table and I had it kind of coming out in front of me, I would actually need, as you can see, I would need the, the, the mic to be facing this direction, which is not directly away from the mount, which is how you see this is set up here and is how I'm going to have mine set up eventually, which will be like this. So I'll have it facing me. The stand will be facing me, but the customization or the, um, yeah, I'll call it customization. The customization option there allows you to set it up at any direction. But again, I mentioned the pop filter will not go on. I can actually show you guys exactly what it is. Once I get this back on. All right. So the pop filter will not go on across this piece here. So you can see how this works. There's a lip there that runs under. So if we look at the bottom side here, it runs onto this and clips under that, you can see. And so it makes sense, but um, it can't go on right here because this lip can't go on past or through this, really. It would have to pass through it. So let's get this set up how I'm going to be using it. But I hope that makes sense. You can set it up in really whatever direction you need to uh, for your use case. So we're going to get this all tight where I want it. You guys are welcome to do the same for your individual needs if you happen to pick this up yourself, which I should mention you can do in the link with the link in the video description. And I will also make sure after I record this video before putting it live to reach out to Mayono and request that they provide a discount code for you guys in the description below. Uh, if it's not in the description, check the pinned comment. I will make sure to update that uh, as soon as I receive something from them or in the future if they offer any additional discounts uh, if you're not watching this close to upload. Of course, USB type B here. Plug that into the bottom. As with USB type A, I feel like you have to try it both ways and then try it the first way again. And it works the first way, of course, just didn't the first time. But that's how USB goes. I kind of like to route my cable up the line here. You can kind of put it behind these thumb screws. That's usually what I go for. Just kind of tucks it away, makes it clean part of this same one piece here. And at any rate, we'll go ahead and get it plugged in and see how it sounds. All right, guys, I'm going to have to go back on what I said and actually end up turning this around, at least for this test. Um, eventually, it will, once it's up on the desk, it will be facing directly away from the boom arm here. But for right now, just was able to quickly readjust it like that. And you are actually hearing me. I'm sure as you can tell the difference. I'm not sure if it's better, worse, louder, quieter. I just have the gain set straight up right now. So I'm not sure if that's saying... Um, the gain is set to zero and to the left is um, of negative gain or if it's that I have the gain at a medium amount. But we will definitely know in the video if I'm very loud right now. I will bring down the volume for you guys here in a second so that you um, aren't uncomfortable. But I do want you to get a just straight up comparison, everything level in between the two microphones. So this one is now off. We can actually push that aside and I'm just talking to you guys right here. I do want to thank Mayono for sending this mic out. In one way that I'll do that will be to read you guys uh, just a tidbit about the information on this mic from the packaging. So we have that it has a high res sampling rate, 16 millimeter diaphragm capsule, cardioid polar pattern, 
And keep in mind, these guys know a lot more about mics than I do. I just record videos, and I know when it sounds good. So as long as they're able to deliver that, I will let you guys, if you care more about this tech specs, uh, take a look at that for yourself. Uh, compatible with Windows and Mac OS, of course. Mic gain controllable, which is the main feature that I actually reached out to Mayono to, to test this mic, uh, was because of that mic gain control that they have built in now. High-speed USB plug-and-play, of course, I just plugged it in, and here we are. I didn't have to set anything up, just added the source in slobs. Professional sound chipset, and the boom arm, of course, which is pretty self-explanatory, but <laughs> lets you set up your mic on your desk. Uh, here, I'm going to bring you... Just to give you guys one last look, and what I'm going to do real quick is give you guys that side-to-side -side audio test. So beginning of the video, of course, shot with this boom mic over here. I'm now going to turn down the gain. You can also hear what it sounds like when I'm touching the microphone. Sometimes it can be very distracting. I'll see if I can up that for you. I might be at full negative there if I cut out for a second. Don't worry, you didn't miss much. I'm kind of just talking so that you guys can hear the full spectrum here. I'm now turning it all the way to maximum. Sorry if I'm super loud for you headphones users. I'm going to bring it back to the middle so that I can thank you guys for watching. Here is the product, of course. Thank you, Mayono, for sending it out. And thank you for you guys for watching. And if you would like to purchase that, please consider doing so via the Amazon affiliate link in the video description. That does, of course, help out the channel and help out Mayono, who graciously sent this over to us. If you are interested in a setup like this, I can recommend them. I have used their products for over a year now, and I am very happy with the quality that they Put out uh, and I have had no problems whatsoever. The only improvement that I mentioned in my last video, a review of my own microphone, was that it did not have any way to control the volume of the mic when you're um, like in a game, you know, without like diving into settings or installing third party programs, like I said. So, this having this gain control right here, sorry to touch the mic so much while I'm talking to you guys, but right here on the front of the mic is amazing, honestly, is, is the one improvement. That if I could have reached out to them and, and asked for something specifically, this would have been the one improvement to a microphone like this that I would have asked for. So kudos to them for probably uh, reacting to a lot of other people who had similar sentiments as I did. But this is amazing. So I am going to be using this in my day to day uh, going forward. I'm going to leave this out here in the shop and I'm going to be setting this up on my gaming system in the office. So next video you guys see from me in the office, I will be recording with this. I hope that it sounds great to you guys right now. It is my first time uh, as I edit this video. Uh, it'll be my first time hearing this audio that I'm recording right now. So just there with you, testing these out between these two. Uh, if this doesn't sound great, then I will include a link to this other boom microphone that I have been using for over a year. And you guys are welcome to check that out as well. Doesn't have that gain control, but everything else, like I've said, has been great. So thanks so much for watching. This has been CFO Mods Gaming, out. Thank you.